such a dear. Oh, uh, take my leave. Lady Sansa? Thank you, Sir Loris. Come. Lady Sansa, it is my honor to present my grandmother. The Lady Olena of House Tyrell. Kiss me, child. It's so good of you to visit me and my foolish flock of hens. We're very sorry for your losses. And I was sorry when I heard of Lord Renly's death, Lady Madri. He was very gallant. Gallant, yes, and charming and very clean. He knew how to dress and smile, and somehow this gave him the notion he was fit to be king. Renly was brave and gentle, Grandmother. Father liked him, and so did Loris. Loris is young and very good at knocking men off horses with a stick. That does not make him wise. As to your fathead father. Grandmother, what will Sansa think of us? You might think we have some wits about us. One of us, at any rate. It was treason. I warned them. Robert has two sons, and Renly has an older brother. How can he possibly have any claim to that ugly iron chair? We should have stayed well out of all this, if you ask me. But once the cow's been milked, there's no squirting the cream back up our udder, so here we are to see things through. What do you say to that, Sansa? Shall we have some lemon cakes? Lemon cake's my favorite. So we've been told. Are you going to bring the food, or do you mean to starve us to death? Here, Sansa. Come sit with me. His father was an oaf as well. My husband, the late Lord Luther, he managed to ride off a cliff whilst hawking. They say he was looking up at the sky and paying no mind to where his horse was taking him. And now my son is doing the same, only this time he's riding a lion instead of a horse. Now, I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. I... I... You, you. Who else would know better? We've heard some troubling tales. Is there any truth to them? Has this boy mistreated you? Has he ripped out your tongue? Joff King, Joffrey, he, his grace is very fair and handsome and as brave as a lion. Yes, all Lannisters are lions. And when a Tyrell farts, it smells like a rose. But how kind is he, how clever? Has he a good heart, a gentle hand? I'm to be his wife. I only want to know what that means. Bring me some cheese. The cheese will be served after the cakes, my lady. The cheese will be served when I want it served. And I want it served now. Are you frightened, child? No need for that. We're only women here. Tell us the truth. No harm will come to you. My father always told the truth. Yes, he had that reputation, and they named him traitor and took his head. Joffrey. Joffrey did that. He promised he would be merciful, and he cut my father's head off. And he said that was mercy. And he took me up on the walls and made me look at it. I didn't mean to disturb you. You haven't. We'd like some privacy, please, if you wouldn't mind waiting back inside the keep. Or if you'd be kind enough to give me your names, I'll ask the king to speak with you himself. What did you pray for? I can't tell you. Why not? I'll tell you what I prayed for in the set this morning. Let's see, for my family's health and happiness, for an end to the war, for a short winter. Boring and traditional, I'm afraid. And you? I'm sorry, I just can't. My cousin Alana was the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. When I was 12, I was all elbows and knees, and Alana looked like a goddess sent to torture me. Pig face, she called me. <laughs> Pig face? That's ridiculous. I think it had something to do with my nose. Whenever she passed me in the halls, she'd oink. <laughs> <laughs> so I prayed that she'd catch a horrible skin disease. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Porridge plague? Oh, you don't have it in the north. 
Your skin starts to look like boiled oats and eventually your face lights off and you die in agony. But that's awful. <laughs> you're... <laughs> I believed you! <laughs> Porridge plague, I'm an idiot. Don't say that, no you're not. So, what happened to Alana? Oh, she grew up to be the most beautiful woman and married a handsome lord and they have darling children and live in a castle by the sea. It's all terribly frustrating. I'm sure she's jealous of you now. You'll be married here in the capital and she'll have to come watch and pretend to be happy that you're queen. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to be friends, good friends. That would make me very happy. You must see High Garden. You'd love it there, I know you would. We have a great masquerade the night of the Harvest Moon. You should see the costumes. People work on them for months. Uh, I, I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. The Queen Regent, you mean? Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. And if you were to marry Loras... Oh. You... He's such a splendid fighter. Do you have any idea when we might...? I'll plant the seed as soon as Joffrey and I are married. It should grow quickly. Joffrey won't let me leave. He's got too many reasons to keep me here. And only one to let you go. Because it will please me. Gabe, to come here, to the capital, see the southern knights in their painted armor, and... King's Landing after dark. All the candles burning in all those windows. I'm stupid. Stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learn. Come on. Come walk with me. I remember the first time I saw you in the throne room. I'd never seen anyone who looked so unhappy. I want very much for you to be happy, Sansa, and so does my grandmother. You would have been happy at Highgarden. But women in our position must make the best of our circumstances. How do I make the best of my circumstances? I have to marry him. Has Lord Tyrion mistreated you? No. Has he been kind to you? He's tried. You don't want him, though. He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? I'm sorry. Here I am complaining to you. My son will be king. Sons learn from their mothers. I plan to teach mine a great deal. And your son, if I'm not mistaken, your son might be the Lord of Casterly Rock and the North someday. What? My son, with him, I'll have to, will have to. If it's the pain you're worried about. I'm not afraid of the pain. Not after what Joffrey's done to me. What is it then? He's rather good looking, even with the scar. Especially with the scar. He's a dwarf. And Loras. Loris. Some women like tall men. Some like short men. Some like hairy men, some like bald men. Gentle men, rough men, ugly men, pretty men, pretty girls. Most women don't know what they like until they've tried it. And sadly, so many of us get to try so little before we're old and grey. Tyrion may surprise you. From what I've heard, he's quite experienced. And that's a good thing. It can be. We're very complicated, you know. Pleasing us takes practice. How do you know all this? Did your mother teach you? Yes, sweet girl. My mother taught me. She's a child. 